show is back here. And Jeff uh, Fletcher, who uh, covers the Angels for Southern California News Group, tweeting out and other Angels news. Uh, Shohei Otani, uh, he has uh, successfully completed his Tommy John rehab. He's been cleared to return to Japan. He'll be back in late January, and the Angels will plan out his usage for 2020. All right, so stay with me here on this second tweet. Otani not expected to pitch more than one time a week, and the Angels will limit his innings after T.J. Canning has not pitched a full season. And uh, Heaney, he's had injury issues. Julio Tehran, Dylan Bundy, a couple of pitchers they just acquired. They provide innings, cushions around all that. Even if Keiko Ryu, they are still at it. So Angels, bottom lines, we're bringing back inside Studio 3. They're looking for arms. They are. I love the two-way player. There's a dynamic that he brings to the game that nobody else has. And it's been – we've been waiting to see this guy, right? I, I personally think the Angels need him more on the mound than they do swinging the bat. I go back to two years ago. He had a start against the Oakland Athletics. And, Fran, it was as impressive as a pitcher I've seen. It was Dwight Gooden. It was Roger Clemens. It was Brett Saberhagen. It was all things – velocity anywhere from 96 to 99 that split finger he featured that afternoon was <laughs> unhittable and he backed it up with that low fire right there he made a real good A's team look really bad when you see swings and misses like that I mean that's a split finger right there that is almost unhittable and then he does this we were all wondering he was so bad in spring training two years ago he wasn't hitting he wasn't pitching and we we're all thinking this guy can't hit all of a sudden, he's starting to take balls that are two, three inches off the plate. Incredible power. He has long levers, and he's he's very impressive. There are a lot of people that think if he just strictly DH'd, he'd be a 35 to 40 home run guy, probably not getting 100 runs. But I think the Angels, in my opinion, Eric, they need him more on the mound than they do in that lineup. I said the exact same thing. I remember watching that game, and I was just flabbergasted. I'm like, dude, this is the best pitcher in baseball, like stuff-wise. I mean, the only other guy that, I, if he comes back throwing like that, the only other starting pitcher in baseball, I think, that throws like him mm -hmm. is Garrett Cole. Oh, right. I, I thought that's that, what that, you were going to I mean, that was it. Like, right. who consistently will hit 100 miles per hour and then break off some of this nasty stuff. Now, I fell in love with him as a hitter, though. And, and it was just like, dude, are we serious? So, when you take the combination of him doing what he's doing, I – Let's ease him back into it. Let's see if he can become the pitcher that you and I both believe he can become. And I think the Angels even believe he can become. But hitting-wise, watch his front foot here, guys. So you talked about that first spring training. Remember that big old leg kick that he had? He couldn't make contact. Bro, Dan, he went from having this gigantic leg kick his entire career to doing this pre-step old school, like, here we go, Rudy Jaramillo, get ready and go with great Coach for the Texas Rangers for a long time right. that had Michael Young and all those dudes hitting like that. That's not easy to do. And because it's hitting's rhythm and timing. So when you're used to lifting your leg and going and lifting your leg and going, all of a sudden you do this, what happens is people get stuck. Carlos Pena and I, we, we talked about it. We played together in Lise. We were always tinkering and whatnot. But that's the one thing. But he didn't get stuck. He was able to do this and still deliver just about a 900 OPS. I'd like to see him all of a sudden – just get a little more into it, I think we're talking about might. what could be a premier hitter in all baseball. And he might. I mean, as he continues to grow and develop as a major leaguer. And let's jump into what ideally, or if you're a fan or maybe somebody in, in, in the Angels front office, what you would like to do, but whether it's realistic. Look, we, we haven't seen this literally since Babe Ruth, the guy who's, gonna, who's pitching and hitting. We're going to get to see it again for the second time here. I, is it realistic, Dan, to have him do anything other than be a starting pitcher? A lot of people think about maybe we'll put him in the bullpen, kind of be our super reliever. <laughs> Friend, I, that, that's the first thing that came to my mind is how about putting this guy as a late inning guy now maybe not a guy that you would use three or four times a week but a guy that you could use to go multiple innings to pitch two innings a couple of times a week and I get that I think what makes the most sense to me is you want to take care of the player's health and the best way to do that is like they're suggesting having him start one game a week he's going to be like their Saturday pitcher at LSU he's going to throw one day a week mm -hmm. and it's Sunday Friday whatever that day happens mm -hmm. to be and then he'll be able to swing the bat four days a week so five out of seven days they're at least going to be able to get one part of this guy either have him on the mound or have him in the lineup take health concerns completely out of it 
I'm on board with what you're talking about. I'd love to see him be the super reliever, just come into <laughs> any game whenever. Like, it's, I, I just think that, I mean, he's, he's such a force. We haven't really seen that super reliever used with the exception of the postseason yep. when it comes to these guys. But ultimately, I think just to get him back on some kind of routine, pitch him once a week, the Angels are on track. He, he has smooth gas. He throws 80, he throws 96 to 100 miles an hour like Jacob deGrom. Yep. They both look like it's just smooth, and they have that long flowing, that energy comes out, and they're going towards home plate. He's fun to watch. And by the way, let's give him a ton of credit because he said he wanted to come over here, he wanted to pitch, and he wanted to hit. And I think 80 to 90% of the people that heard that, they said, yeah, yeah, one of those. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right. Pick we'll, your poison, we'll, one or the other. Yeah, we'll see it. We'll, 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 we'll believe him when we see it. And he, he's done it. We're he's, believing. He's figured out a way to do it. So, to me, he's one of the most exciting players in all baseball, no doubt.